Hi, I'm Brian DeGainer. I'm the new instructor here at Minnesota State College Southeast in Red Wing. Uh, I graduated from this program in 2016, and uh, currently I live in Moundsview, which is kind of in the middle of the Twin Cities. And uh, I love being here. It's one of my favorite places in the world. Yeah, so I was a player before coming to uh, Red Wing here. I played horn through a lot of different orchestras and throughout college. Uh, and as much as I love tinkering with my own instruments, uh, I decided to give Red Wing a visit uh, just because I knew, I knew Greg Beckwith here. And uh, after seeing the, the classroom and seeing what the program is all about, I, uh, I dropped everything and, and came here just to see what it was really like. And then uh, really fell in love with the work, really looking at uh, all the different mechanisms and how everything uh, works together uh, really appealed to me. And that continued on through my career. Yeah, that actually happened um, as kind of a surprise to me. I came to Red Wing thinking I was going to work on horns for the rest of my life. And um, when I was on the woodwind uh, through the woodwind program, uh, going through flutes and going through saxophone and double reeds, um, that those those puzzles, all of those different mechanisms and different small pieces that you get to put together, uh, really appealed to me, and it was a lot of fun to, to to see something that works at the end of all of those small pieces. Uh, so I like small fine mechanisms like that. Yeah, double reeds and flutes for sure. Uh, that kind of came about because of the jobs that I that I got uh, being a, a flute technician and going into double reeds uh, and working at a, a double reed specialty shop. Kind of kind of means means the work comes to my table more often That's for sure. The yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, while working on flutes, uh, seeing a lot more high-end flutes across my bench, I uh, decided to um, go go further in my training and uh, and go see the, the folks down at Straubinger uh, in Indiana that are just the nicest people in the world, but they also are uh, they're looking for really skilled techs to make even further uh, further skilled techs from there. Uh, which is a, a fantastic course, a really difficult course, but was well worth it. I want them to have the the hunger for knowledge that you know brings people to a program like this. There is uh, a saying I like to use is that the. the coming to the school makes you, you know, literate, you learn all the terminology, you learn all the skills, all the materials you're going to be working with, but you really learn on the job about what works, what works for you, the things you see across your bench. So I want this to be a springboard into their career that they, the whole world opens up when you come to the school, but then your world opens up tenfold once you get out into the job. And, um, I, I, for a lot of techs, it never slows down. It only gets wider and bigger and better. Yeah, the uh, the big one that comes into my head is that they're big problem solvers and, and question askers. They're always looking at every aspect of how they work and the instruments that are in front of them. Uh, what can we do to make this better? What can we do to make this field a better uh, industry uh, things that come to mind is that they're they're honest and they're uh, and they're passionate. They're really passionate about this. It's a really passion driven industry. How much you love the music and the instruments and the people who play them, um, and that's why we do this. Is we're we're serving the musicians and we're serving the instruments in front of us. Well, I would say nothing progresses if we're not asking those questions and trying new things. The uh, one thing that my colleagues and I talk about constantly is everything about this industry, where it's going, what materials we're using, what 
processes we're using and nothing can move forward unless we're having those conversations. And that's what kind of what this school is for is that we have a lot of knowledge and the mentors and, and the students here it all comes together and we can dive through those, um, those variables together to see what can be done. It certainly teaches you a lot. The way that we uh, not only find out you know, what we shouldn't be doing, but what can happen is if error is a risk we're going to have to take. Uh, there's so much problem solving throughout this job that there's going to be speed bumps. There's going to be things that you mess up, but that's part of the job is that you learn to see the backside of that and um, make a plan going forward from there. It's the only way that that uh, that things get fixed, especially when it's a when it's a problem no one's seen before. It's our job to identify it and uh, make a plan of action. We are all lifelong learners, and the second you step through this door, uh, you've now joined a club of lifelong learners, and that includes your mentors and your instructors. So, uh, although I think we are very good at what we do, uh, we're always learning. Whether it's what something that's on your bench or your students or our mentors, through the factories, through the technicians in their basements, everybody is always learning. So, master student is a good way to put it. They should expect that their world gets blown wide open because there's people that are coming here from music education, from players, people who've never touched a wind instrument, you know, all those people combined. This is a, a sect of the music industry that is kind of unheard of for a lot of people. So to have your world opened up to see how these uh, how these instruments are put together, how they get fixed, how they work is all a, a totally new facet to the music industry uh, that a lot of people are just learning about when they come here. Another thing they can expect is to be challenged. No one says that this job is easy, but uh, there's going to be days that will be really frustrating. Some repairs uh, you can do in your sleep and you learn once and you can do them for the rest of your life, but others you're going to need to problem solve a lot. Uh, and having that challenge and being assessed on how you're problem solving in, a, in those ways is, uh, is the only way that you learn and move forward. That's how we get better at this job. I want to say welcome to me and this program. Uh, that's what we're here for. We're here for this industry. We're here for the students and the technicians. Uh, you know, give us a call, send us an email. That's what we're here for is to talk to you, really. Teachers are communicators.